Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to take a screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy A25. It's super easy. You're going to hold down on the power and the volume down button for one second and it's going to uh, take a screenshot for you. Let me show you power, volume down, hold and let it go. You'll see the screen flash. You'll get a pop up at the bottom here. Tap on the circle. And when you tap the circle, it'll actually take you to the gallery app to edit it. Um, I'm gonna take it one more time and show you just a, a, a different way to do that. You can edit it right after. Power, volume down, press, screenshot. If you tap on this button, the crop and with the pencil, this will allow you to immediately crop the picture. So you can drag from the corners to shrink the area. And then you can access a pencil if you wanted to highlight something on screen. You could tap on the highlighter or you could write using the pen tool here. You have an eraser tool. And once you're finished, you can either tap the share button to share it out, or you can tap on the down, the down arrow here to basically download the picture. So I'm gonna tap on that down arrow just so we can save it in our gallery. Now, let me show you where the picture goes once you uh, finish. We'll tap on that gallery icon here. And here we'll see, those are our two screenshots. My album, it's gonna create an album for screenshots so you can easily access those pictures. Now, let's say you wanna print this screenshot. Well, we just opened up the screenshot. So if we tap on the picture here and go to the upper right corner and we tap on these three dots, it will give us an option here to print. So tap on print. Now. Obviously you will need a wireless printer for this to work. You'll also need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. So as you can see, if I swipe down from the top of the screen, my Wi-Fi is turned on. And so you wanna make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network as your printer. Make sure your printer is turned on. And if those two things are, are set, when you tap on select a printer, we're gonna tap on the drop down arrow and it has found my Epson XP4200 and I'm simply gonna tap on that printer. And once you select the printer, you'll see this little yellow print icon here. And that means you are ready to print, okay? You'll simply tap on that button there, and then it will send your picture to your printer. So that's how easy it is to print a picture. Now, I also wanna show you how to print an email and how to print a web page since we're going over printing. Okay, next, let's go to the Gmail app right here. And we're simply going to find an email and I'll show you the process to print it. So here I'm going to print this security alert email and just go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots up here and you'll find your print button is right here. Tap on print. Same thing, select the printer, tap in the drop down button to the right. There's our Epson. And then you'll just tap on that yellow button right there to print it. Now, lastly, let's talk about how to print a web page. Let's go to our Google folder and go to Chrome. And here I'm on Amazon's website and I was doing some searching. And let's say I just want to print this web page for this Fire Max 11. In the upper right corner, I'm going to tap on the three dots. And notice there is no print button in Chrome. So there is a print button, it's just not in the initial menu. All you'll need to do is tap on the share button first, then you'll find the print button right here. Tap on print, and then it will give you that same layout that we just saw. You'll tap select a printer, tap the drop down, tap on your printer. By the way, I'll link that printer on screen or a really good recommendation if you are looking for a really inexpensive but quality wireless printer. Um, this is one that I love that's worked great. And most of the Epson XP series printers are really good. Now, the interesting thing here is we've selected our printer, but we don't see our print preview. Sometimes it does take a while for the printer to basically load all the pages it needs to print. So don't worry if you get a screen like this. Let me show you an easy way to troubleshoot this or to speed up the process. You can really just sit and wait if you want to, but an easy way to speed it up is tap on the drop down and tap on save as a PDF. When you do this, it usually will load the previews faster. 
One thing you'll notice, there are 15 total pages here that are being printed and that's why it's taking so long to load all the pages. Now, maybe you only want the first page. You can tap on this drop down arrow right here and you can go to select range and you can just simply go and just put one. I only want the first page and that will speed up the process. You can also, you know, set multiple copies if you want to print more than one. When you're done, come back to save as PDF, tap on the drop down and tap on your printer. And now the print icon is there and you're ready to print your web page. So that is a sort of an easy workaround to get the pages to load quicker. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you guys did find this helpful. If it was, bump that like button down below. I have more videos on the A25, so I'll link to my playlist right here where you can find all my other tutorials in the A25. So great resource to keep learning. Here I'll link to another really helpful video as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.